Hey guys, it's Kay, the Organized Soprano here, and today is day 26 of our 30 Days of Decluttering Challenge, and that means it is pantry decluttering day. So my pantry is in pretty good shape, so I probably won't be removing a lot of stuff from there today, but I'm here to give you some quick tips and tricks on how to get an organized pantry. So if that sounds like fun to you, go ahead and keep watching. So we are in the home stretch of the 30 days of decluttering. How have you guys been doing? Let me know in a comment down below if you're watching this in a month other than August. It's totally fine. If you want to get your home decluttered in 30 days, go ahead and I will link to a playlist down below. You can use it to get inspired and you can follow along or just watch it and get some satisfaction. Okay, let's do the pantry today. And uh, my pantry is in pretty good shape, but I'll show you what it's, what's going on in there. All right, so since I live in an apartment, I don't have like a huge, giant pantry. I guess they could have given us that, but they didn't when we were going to buy our condo. We have upper cabinet pantry action, and I will open it and show it to you. Hmm, actually looking a little more messy than I thought, so let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Clover got up out of bed, and here he is for you. Say hi, Clover. Hi. Hi. Say hi, people. Hi. The first step in starting any organizing project is if you are doing it for the first time to take everything out of the space. So if this were my first time decluttering and organizing the space, I would have taken everything out. But since I've done that recently, I just took out a couple of things that I was going to organize. I have also very much become a fan of decanting dry goods into permanent containers. I strongly advise this as this can save you lots of time and energy. I also have these awesome labels from label ones which I'm going to be using to label my containers. They are erasable labels. These are my favorite dry goods containers from the container store. They are awesome, made out of plastic. I think they're made of uh, in Italy and I've written on them with awesome chalk marker. So on the top of this label, I've written the expiration date from the uh, purchase package of these panko breadcrumbs. Now I have run out of breadcrumbs. So what I'm gonna do is I bought a new box of breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna erase the previous expiration date and replace it with the new expiration date, which I believe to be September of next year and you know what those panko breadcrumbs will be long a memory by september of 2019 because i love me some panko breadcrumbs thumbs up if you guys love panko breadcrumbs too <laughs> to my cacao nibs. I go through cacao nibs pretty quickly, so I need to put a new expiration date on the permanent packaging. You see I've got some still in there, but don't worry, they will get eaten. I put in the new cacao nibs and I can see exactly how many I have left because the package is clear, so I'll know when I need to go and buy more from the grocery store. Also, don't forget to occasionally go ahead and wash your permanent containers. Just because you're putting the same thing in over and over again, it can get a little bit gross in some of the containers. So in this case, I was replacing old coconut flakes with new coconut flakes and they expire on my birthday, which is extra special. So I put the new expiration date on the bottom, as you can see here on my label ones container. And I went ahead and filled up my new container with coconut flakes flakes and let me tell you they smell so good I eat coconut flakes with my breakfast with, on my yogurt with some berries and stuff like that they add a little extra taste of the tropics with the extra I just put them in a bin with my backup stuff that lives at the top of my pantry and that is going to lead me to talk about zones and expiration dates as well Handy tip, if you have uh, more than one item and one expires before the other, place the one that it's going to expire the soonest in front so you'll eat that one first. 
When you begin to reorganize your pantry, you're going to want to establish some zones for you and your family. In my case, I like to put the things that I use most frequently, things that I cook with every night, at arm's length or at uh, torso height so that I can grab them easier. I have a zone for uh, dry goods. You can see I've got rice there and cacao nibs and coconut flakes and lots of different kinds of rices. I do like variety in my rices. I also have a zone for canned goods and cereal, as you can see here. It's not Raisin Bran, I know it's cornflakes. We've also got a zone especially for canned fishes and condiments, uh, including honey. And it's on a Lazy Susan, as you can see, for easy access. We also have a container just for popcorn and its accessories because those things tend to go together. So we just grab the whole bin and make popcorn if we need to. Next to that, I have a zone for basically just snacks and treats so I've got those in a in a container sort of contain them <laughs> and at the very top this is way up maybe eight feet up I've got the backup stuff so this is my back stock of items stuff that I either have duplicates of or things that I just need to refill like salt and pepper spices and things that I don't ask us very often like pasta and pasta sauce we've also got a little room on our counter for things I reach for not a lot I need to make banana bread, yes. And of course, I didn't forget about baking things. I've got all my baking things together in the same cabinet so that when I need to grab baking things, I can just grab either a few containers, one container and be good to go. And also my other secret is the oils on the spin tray. I'm a big fan of them. We've got oil and vinegar on one spin tray. Even though it's not taking up the full space of the cabinet, we can just spin this tray around and find everything we need. It is my favorite thing. Okay, that's it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this organized pantry tips video from me. I hope this inspired you to organize and declutter your pantry today or tomorrow whenever you want to do it. No rush. No rush. Do it whenever. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and share it with somebody who you think might get a kick out of it as well. I love you guys and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. That is organizing and decluttering electronics. Gonna be a good time. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.